Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whichever way the situation may be. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the how to overclock Ryzen 5 2400G. That's on the Gigabyte B450M-DS3H. This is part three of this series. I wasn't planning on making this series this long, but I ain't much into the overclocking. But someone asked me to do it, so I'm trying to get the right information out there. In the last two videos, I asked for any comments or concerns or any suggestions. And people have been putting them out there, um, which I appreciate from everyone that's been helping me do this. So I got a few comments, and uh, we're going to go into the bios here, and we're going to see, uh, see if they was right or not. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll get into that bios. Alright all, like I said in the intro here, I had a couple people uh, comment on the overclocking guides that I had on this motherboard and gave me some uh, opinion and some advice on how to get some of this stuff done. Um, I'm hoping this will be the last installment of this, so hopefully I can uh, get all the answers right and uh, we'll get it done. For the first question by Canned Soup, or the comment from Canned Soup, he said to use the up and down in the BIOS. I'm assuming that he's talking about over here or on the CPU ratio where I couldn't get it to do nothing. And by pushing up and down, it ain't doing nothing for me. I'm assuming that's what he was talking about. Yeah, see, it ain't, it's just putting negatives or just negative signs in there about all it's doing for me. So that ain't working too well. All right, but like I said in, uh, in port two, just take and type it in, <clears throat> hit enter, and it boosts it up. So there's your CPU. I put it to four gigahertz from 3.6. On the GFX clock frequency, Stefan Chin, I believe is the way you pronounce that, says you can overclock to 1500 so you just need to change the v, uh, GFX voltage and the BIOS from auto to 1.1 through 1.2, which is the safer zone. So let's go down here and we'll put, uh, we'll go with 1.1. And then we'll go up to auto and we'll type in our 1550. So fun. He wants me to bench test, uh, benchmark CSGO and Minecraft. It also said, may I ask about RAM overclocking as possible on the motherboard? Okay, as far as the RAM goes, I know you can do the XMP with no problem. That's by clicking down here. <clears throat> Let's push it up to 3000 megahertz speed. So I know the XMP does work. Okay, now the auto down here, the system multiplier. Okay, the XMP profile is set to 3000 megahertz. Let's try to disable that. It goes down to 21.33. Let's try to take it to 33.00. Uh, .00. Let's see what that happens. That kicks it up to 33.33 .33 megahertz. Let's see if that does any good. Okay. Well, it loaded, so it must, been, must be stable. Let's look in the task manager. Let's look at the performance. Uh, it's reading 3.99 on the CPU cores. Uh, the memory, it looks like it is overclocking to 3, 3,333 megahertz. Uh, the Radeon graphics, Vega 11. Uh, it ain't showing the clock speed in this, so let's do this. We'll go into MSI Afterburner, and we'll see what it's showing. See if it's showing our 1550 or not. All right, guys, but we're not having benchmark here. It still don't look like moving that voltage up to 1.1 has uh, got that in. Yeah, we got some funny stuff going on there with it as well. So the plus and negative in the BIOS did work, and it don't seem like changing the voltage done much let's go back into the now well, they're crashed all right all as you can tell there at the end it ended up freezing up on heaven benchmark so it means something wasn't stable i believe it was the voltage that i put in the gfx um i believe it wasn't stable i think that's why it froze up like it did and even by changing that voltage 
I went back in and tried 1.2 like he suggested, and it still wouldn't take it. It still wouldn't take the 1550. All right, guys, I hope this kind of answers you all's questions and comments. I do, with that plus and negative on the, on the core clock, it does help, but you have to punch in the number, and then you can use the up and down. Just use the up and down button automatically on the auto setting. Don't do much. But if you put it in there, you know, 4.0, and then you use your plus and negatives, it does help. You know, you can adjust it little by little with the up and down arrows. Um, the voltage on the GFX, uh, I couldn't get it to work. As you've seen, you know, it ended up blue screening on me and ended up locking up my computer. So even by changing that voltage, it didn't help with the GFX. Uh, the RAM, it is overclockable. Um, you can do better than what the XMP profile does for you. You know, you just have to fiddle around with it and see see what you can get out of it and see what the stable stability is. And this is one reason why I don't recommend overclocking. Yes, it's free performance for nothing, but you pay with your time. You know, to get that little bit of extra performance on the GFX, to get a little bit more performance on your RAM, to get a little bit more performance on your uh, CPU. AMD is pretty good. You know, I mean, what they, what they send their products out at, at their max turbo you know i mean my processor does 4.0 over top they're boosting up to 3.9 to me it's it's awful time consuming for that little bit of extra performance you know the gfx you could open up amd ryzen master you could get that 1550 out of that over top at 1240 that my that my gfx is pushing but it is time consuming and then you have the instabilities of it, this and that. This is why I do not recommend overclocking. But if you guys like these overclocking guys, maybe I'll do some more of them. Maybe I'll do some more uh, investigation into overclocking. That way the next one I put out ain't going to be three ports long like this one was. Maybe I'll actually figure, figure it out, do it all in one video, which I should have done in the first place, and I didn't. But anyways... Um, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. There's that comment section down there, guys. Let me know what you think about me, what I'm doing. If you've seen any other videos, you know, I'm going to try to start getting into Twitter and uh, Instagram and whatnot, which is at Dave's Tech Way. If you like, come over there and follow me. You know, I'm on Facebook. You know, it ain't hard to find me on Facebook. Just put in Dave's Tech Way, and I should show up. It's actually under a business site, but uh, I may be changing that into a fan page or something. But anyways, guys, if you really liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. But with that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.